I move we open uh, the meeting at it's 7.03. So uh, welcome to our uh, uh, appropriation committee meeting tonight. Um, tonight it's basically uh, we have our open forum. Um, we can discuss it, uh, an appropriation uh, chair nomination election. It's that time if we choose to do it. We do have four out of five people here today. Um, approval of meeting minutes uh, and the year-end budget transfer transfers review. Uh, specific appropriation discussion um, and then we adjourn. So any, anyone for the open forum? I don't, I don't think so. So we can move on to item number two. So appropriation chair, nomination and election. So I added that. Usually this is the time of year we do it. Um, and I just want to say that uh, um, I think uh, this year we have, in the last couple of years, we've had people who just did not want to do it. So I kept on doing it probably for you know, seven, seven years, eight years. I've lost track. But I do think this year we do have some people who might be interested and who want to do it next year. So I'm leaving that open for discussion for any nominations. Uh, who'd like so to be are you trying to say that since Shahajul is not here, it's easy to elect him? <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll ever have a total of five people, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking Wayne, uh, Rebecca, uh, Todd, if you'd like to to do it. I'm, this is not a, a one one person uh, uh, chair, so um, you know I'll be I'll be very honest. Um, you know there were times during the year where I thought. Yeah, this year I think I would discuss with other members, you know, they're interested in having me as chair, but I think you did a great job. I see the dedication that you have to it and the time commitment that you've put into it. And um, uh, I'm not as eager. <laughs> that being said, I mean, if it's something where other people just, you know, whether it's you wanting to take a break, I know you've, you've had it on your shoulders for a number of years, or other people not being interested, it's certainly something that I'm willing to help out with and jump into. But uh, I'm certainly not as eager as the young lad was last year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Rebecca, are you, are you interested in doing it? No, actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm way too busy with my other commitments. I had to seriously consider re-upping for uh, this next three terms. So I'm Wayne, you have, more, you, you have more time on your hands? But I may be, maybe, I'm not a public camera, maybe looking at a wheel out. I don't know. It depends okay. where I wind up working. Anyway, I, I thought you know, everyone did a really great job. Do we job. have to do it today, or can we? Yeah, can we do it? We can do week? it when Shahadul is, yeah. if he wants to do it. I'm just uh, leaving it open, just that this is not like, this is, this is my committee, I want to do it. It's, that's not, definitely not the case. It has not been, and it is really, I know it's a... I do work right in the area, so when we have monthly meetings, I, it's easy for me to hop on over to do it. So I know not everyone has that. Do you in. want to? I mean, have you had enough? Not to put it bluntly. Are you trying uh, to find it's the most polite discussion of chairmanship I've ever heard? <laughs> <laughs> because it's a thankless job. <laughs> and, and you knock it out. And I'm not even. And, 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 and if you double my salary, uh, that won't even help. <laughs> But I'm, but I'm also willing to wait till September. Let you think about it. I, mm -hmm. You know, if, if you want to do it. And, and one thing I'd like to consider is maybe, um, a, like a vice chair, that actually, when you're doing like meetings with the board, so like the budget meetings, maybe having the chair and the vice chair be there, um, and in case someone can't make a meeting, then that way we get more of the um, committee's viewpoints um, represented in those meetings. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something we can talk to mm -hmm. the town manager mm -hmm. about. Yeah, what, I don't know. It seems like we should probably table this to the next meeting. I think that, um, I mean, it, having it added to the agenda, you know, was, you know, relatively short notice. Nobody's fault, but uh, yeah. it was relatively short notice for discussion or anything like that. And, you know, okay. if we, uh, 
I just wanted to bring it up. I didn't want to yeah, not even yeah. to bring it up. And if it wasn't I, on the agenda, I didn't think it was appropriate to bring it up. So. I would like to just add that, you know, Mike, I think you did a great job this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, I made a comment about the, the time commitment. And, you know, I mean, that's just downright truth. You know, okay. I, mean, you I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll move it on to the to the next meeting, which will probably be September sometime, in the September time frame. Oh, when we have, yeah, I may want to discuss that later on. <laughs> so, when we would, I, I didn't know what the specific appropriation discussion item was, but. Um, um, there is another. Um, specific item. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's, it's a, it, you know, Ben will, ben will talk about it okay. when, when it comes okay. up. Well, then, while we're talking kind of about how we govern, I actually was wondering if we could potentially meet before the budget session kicks off. I know as we were reviewing the budget, we felt we were kind of after things had happened, and we weren't able to really provide advice mm -hmm. or potential direction to the people putting the budget together. So if we could meet, um, and I don't know if it's right after the budget kicks off, while the budgets are being created, I think we had some you know, recommendations about funding certain funds or, or you know how to think about you know the strategy following our financial policies um, and I know we do have some financial policies that might be good for us to review them um, as a committee and then potentially provide some recommendations as the budget season kicks off which would mean we might need to meet before that official kickoff time so that we would be able to provide some recommendations sure. at that point. And uh, as chair you know we do have these monthly uh, meetings you know Everything kicks off in November, and we pretty much don't hear anything until the end of January. But there are these monthly meetings, and usually, it's about the progress or things that are going on. So there really isn't much input until all of a sudden we see all the numbers put together. Um, so it, it does happen kind of quickly. Right. But uh, so maybe we, definitely, we can definitely do more yeah. if, if there are issues coming up. And maybe in September um, we could meet just to kind of review where we think you know the town finances are. I'm not sure. Right. If End of the year stuff is closed out by then. Would you get a, a look at how the year ended? Um, okay. Well, I think the in September that's when the budget schedule will come out. So we have to meet to discuss the okay. the schedule and are the dates to give us a pro, uh, an appropriate amount of time to review. So yeah. that will be the first one coming up. Okay. All right. The approval of meeting minutes. Seems like we're going backwards here. Usually we do this at the end, but uh, uh, Rebecca, you did provide uh, meeting minutes for uh, May 2nd. So I'm looking, I don't know if people have had a chance to review it. So if you can uh, have a motion. I move that we approve the minutes of May 2nd. Second. Second. Uh, discussion? She said they're awesome. I thought they were awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for doing it, Rebecca. <laughs> so all those in favor of approving the May 2nd, uh, 2019 <coughs> minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0. Motion carries. All right. Next item is a uh, year and budget transfer at review and uh, so um, just to kick it off uh, through the chair, uh, the, uh, what I did in the packet was try to have a summary sheet on the front. Um, at the top, top portion represents just what was done last year um, as far as the action uh, concerning the committee is concerned. Um, this year we already have uh, used $60,000 of the uh, reserve fund which is the oversight of just the Appropriation Committee um, for the assessors for a, a special appraisal that was done. Um, and so we're, we're part of our recommendation uh, for the remainder of the money, or, or the full, full remainder of the money in the reserve fund. Um, the town has had a, an excessive amount of uh, legal action concerning the LNG plant. Um, and um, so we've, uh, the expenses thus far for that this year have been uh, 
over over $124,000 with an additional month of unbuilt services to go. And it's been averaging about 15,000 a month. So that's that's where the, ba the pretty much the basis of um, the overage on the um, town council account. So we're recommending uh, the remainder of the reserve fund, uh, available funds of 65,000 to cover a portion of the overage. And we're also recommending an appropriation transfer from the health insurance uh, benefits fund to the legal services fund. Do you want me to just speak to all of these as we go, or uh, it be, and behind in the packet is the detail um, for each one of the things that I'm speaking to? So, so, so how how do we have to vote on these? Is it one motion, or do we vote for each? You can. Uh, you can vote for them each, or you can vote for them separately at your call. I just have a question, not so much as far as, you know, where the cost is derived, but where the money's coming from on the health insurance overage that we have. Um, is that overage, is that due to um, when the budget was passed, assuming one increase? for health insurance for the coming year and then actually realizing something less or is it from uh, turnover and there being you know gaps where positions aren't in play and so, and it's, so a, fewer it's pretty much a combination of both this year mm -hmm. um, so in the planning phases we they're they're anticipating um, a, a number of, of uh, turnovers either way so like family plans versus single coverage and and those kinds of things so we have a lot of unfilled positions that have occurred mm -hmm. um, and we've also had less activity with um, people coming on or transferring from family or having events that would qualify them so what was our what was our overage and what's that as a percentage of what the budget was um, so the overage is about four hundred and thirty four thousand dollars and five percent um, something like that um, excuse me is that about five percent somewhere in that and area? It, it, but it's um under five percent under five okay all right thank you so how you know however you want me to do it i can go through the list and explain them and then you can vote at the end or you know whatever works for you i think i'd like to see an explanation of each one up front and then sure then I think it may be just easier to discuss and then um, vote the whole, vote the whole package. Sure. Because there, so there are quite a few. Do we want to consider the, um, our reserve separately from the transfers? Or is that all one big? Do we have to specify each account from and to in the single motion, or is it is can it be is this an official um, this handout is this official that we can do it in two motions? Um, so you you'd have to vote the reserve fund transfer separately, but the other ones you can vote in in its entirety. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's discuss uh, each, each section. Sure. Um, so, uh, so as far as the legal um, transfers that have been proposed, the, re the reserve fund for 65000 <coughs> and the $94,343.91 um, from the appropriation transfer from the health insurance. Are there any questions or are there anything else I can answer on that one? Sure. So this is all related to the increase in the, the litigation for the increase in the assessment of the LNG plant, right? That, that Remember that came up probably four years ago, when uh, it's was an it? appeal of the assessment. Yeah. We are defending the appeal of the increased assessment. But didn't we already fund something a couple of months ago? 
Okay. We, probably. Yeah. Uh, because this is ongoing and expensive, yeah. but I don't remember a uh, transaction. It was like last, it was yeah. like last November yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So this was, I think, four years ago. They brought in this firm who came up with a, a plan that year, which you've got this valuable asset. Let's, I mean, for lack of a better word, milk it for as much as we can get out of it. Is anyone looking at the whole, has anyone stepped back and said, you know, we're just moving $150,000, is it worth it? I mean, there's somebody it's looking at this whole yes. plan. The, the answer is yes, that there's a lot at stake here. Yeah. Uh, especially if they recapitalize, uh, recapitalize this plan at some point, it's important for us to get the right baseline for this major facility. Is there is there any opportunity to recoup our legal fees if we win? I I don't I believe don't. so. Uh, I think it's our obligation to defend our position. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure. And I think they have the right to appeal. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's like they're bringing suit where we could get fees. Yeah. There they have a right to appeal, and we have to afford them that right. Okay. And does our obligation have a basis in? I mean, does it make financial sense? As someone said, this is our probability of coming out here. We're going to spend this to get here. Does, the, does that work? So I don't know what the problem. I, I wouldn't speak to the probability. I believe our case is a sound one. Okay. And that we will be better off when it's over. Uh, I don't know what the, what the board will do. I don't know how the board will rule. But I think we would be remiss if we did not try to tax that facility at the full and fair value. So it's one it's, thing we're confident of is that all the attorneys are going to win. The attorneys, <laughs> the attorneys will be well compensated. Yeah. And to take your point, the Eversource is going through an upgrade process for the LNG facility currently, yeah. two-year process. And and in the longer term, there's even more talk about doing more right. there. So it's a it's a major factor in the town. From many perspectives, okay. as former uh, DHS headquarters staffer, there are just layers and layers of issues with having a facility like that mm -hmm. in your town. I remember the presentation very well. Any other questions? Good questions. Any next tape. Sure. So the, the next one is for. Um, our uh, veterans um, benefits services. This is a, a state chapter 115 um, guidance where we provide, uh, we have a regional um, veterans services um, system. We belong to a regional um, delivery of services, um, but it's, it's basically we, ex these are people that live in the town of Hockington that have provided um, military service to the country and there's a uh, means to try to help them to um, if, whether they whether they're um, having some uh, physical issues they're having some issues um, adapting back to their environment um, and are they falling on hard times there's a provision um, the great thing of of this, the great thing of us helping, in addition to helping these people, is that the, st uh, the state reimburses the town um, 75 cents on the dollar for every dollar that's spent in that, and that's so we we get it back. It just is a there's a lag between when we get it. It's usually in the next year, so we provide the service, we get the money back the next year. So when it comes back, it just goes to the general fund. Sure, it comes back as um, as revenue from the state. So I guess my question again is just kind of going back to um, the bucket of finance and accounting expense. What is that typically used for, and you know how how big how big was the bucket, you know, compared to what we're transferring? So the the original bucket was forty six thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars that was a, a we we also pay a a um, a fee on top of that but that's assessed and that has to do with the regionalization and administration 
of the program. Um, so that's an outside factor. This is just the, the we're over in the budget because of the services we provide mm -hmm. to to our um, military veterans. Oh yeah, I don't have any problem with so funding it, that it's, piece. Um, it's gone. It's gone over. So it's you know eighteen, um, almost eighteen thousand four hundred. So, so asking about the finance. Part. Yeah, yeah. No, my What's question is, yeah. Right. So we've, we're transferring eighteen thousand from the finance uh, bucket, if you will. Sure. The original finance bucket was forty six. That's no. So the so the the finance. Um, the, the interpretation of that is because there's been a, a large turnover in how the finance department mm -hmm. um, had, and, and in fact, I'm new, uh, Ben is new, and Tim is new um, to the organization after the budget was developed. Mm -hmm. They tried to anticipate that, but we all came at, diff at different times, so uh, well into the year. We came in, so there was some savings there, so there's a recoup okay. of that, those, that funding. So was this extra amount, was it unanticipated or we, like, you, you don't know who's suddenly going to ask for these so services? The, the service hasn't, there hasn't been an uh, expansion of services to people that are already enrolled in the program. These are all new individuals that have brought it up a little bit. like when the schools get new students. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? The next one. So uh, the next one is um, a, a minor shortfall um, in the DPW admin um, budget for um, uh, personal services, and um, in within even, uh, even though it's admin, it's not just the people that are salaried. There is an uh, or, um, there is a person that's entitled to make some overtime. Uh, it encompasses um, about three thousand dollars worth of that coverage. Any, any questions? Next, town engineer. This is a um, request by the um, town engineer. Um, there's some um, additional findings that we've just discovered in, in uh, many of our projects that are existing out there that um, while the town believed that um, we could rely on our utility providers to um, give us certain um, information concerning our, our, our utility connections that exist. Um, in fact, when we've approached them for that information, they told us that we're responsible. So um, in order to do that, because there's so many different projects going on in town that require this information, um, the, the town engineer has requested that this this amount of money to begin to do some base mapping of utilities um, as we move forward to the large projects that are occurring th around town. So we have many utilities that are mismapped or unmapped, including stormwater drains and, and conduits and utility runs, and we do not have the information the town needs to have to move forward on other things, and so we need to fill out this data set. And this came up when? We became aware of it in planning for some of the big projects that are about to launch in town. But it's really not part of the big projects. It's just the timing is that we only became aware of it when we thought we could get this from Eversource. You know, there's this concept that if you're going to dig a hole in your yard, you can call the utilities and they'll come out and tell you where all your lines are and everything. And Apparently that doesn't apply to us fully and it's not going to be satisfactory for the scope of work we need to do. Mm -hmm. So, but when did it, when did we? In the last couple of weeks. The last this couple is, weeks. This is, we, we did not know this at the town meeting. No, we did not. 
And so that's 90,000. Um, I know my other questions have been on the source side, but now on the transfer to side, um, what's the current town engineering uh, budget? That was budgeted at $50,000. So now we're basically tripling it with this transfer? So the town engineer here has a, uh, I would call it an atypical set of responsibilities. Being the manager of our few central buildings and then having this broader duty for all the infrastructure. And we typically don't fund anything for the infrastructure end of their duties. It's typically new mini splits or things for the buildings. Uh, so I think this is that, that the variation comes from the fact that we don't have an ongoing spend plan on infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So um, this 90,000, which which projects is this going to help us prep for? Well, it's certainly going to help with the Main Street Corridor. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and so there's work we need to do to move that forward that we are not prepared to do. Okay. That's not part of the uh, digging and not part of the paving and not part of the, but it's information that we should have for the whole town, like the location of storm drains and storm so are we doing it for the whole town, or are we just doing it for project areas? I don't know the answer to that. I don't have the answer to that either. So right now, we know that it'll help the downtown corridor project. Do we know any other projects that this is going to help? I don't know. My guess is we're probably not trying to solve the whole problem with this amount of money. Because mm -hmm. it's that's a bigger problem with a longer timeline. Uh, I think this is probably going to get us through the immediate issue. Uh, the immediate without deferring or delaying anything that's planned. So I don't think we're just gonna randomly go to places that are not gonna have work and try to fix that out of this. Yeah. But I think at some point we're gonna to try to do that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I personally before voting on that transfer, I'd feel better if we had a more firm understanding of where this money is going. I understand that it's gonna, help downtown corridor and if someone said yeah it's all going to downtown corridor that's fine you know that's the information um, but it just kind of seems like we're not really sure what else it might be helping if anything else if we don't vote on this does this hold up the down the main street corridor project so you would just vote no action on this and it would be it would be taken into account um, at the um, selectmen it does require a positive vote on both sides. Mm. So. so it could endanger the progress on the, the near term things. Yeah, Which is but only, only to the point of us getting together and finding out more information, theoretically, right? Well, we have a timeline. When are the selectmen going to select? I think we have to like July 10th or something. It, and, yeah. and again, so the selectmen only meeting one. July 9th, right. and we have a deadline of being having this passed by the 15th of July. So, is this a not to exceed 90,000, or this is an estimate? We have an estimate that came in exactly at $90,000. Is this a this to have Oh, it's a transfer. And if it's not all spent, then it'll go just as unspent money goes and, and become oh free gosh. cash in the next cycle. So. Uh, we think it's sufficient to keep the program going and but it's not like we're spending it without uh, some outcome if this <clears throat> is tied to several projects should would there be any requirement to account for it within those projects i'm sorry can, can you? to capitalize it for user yeah so i don't i don't know exactly how it's going to be i mean if it were to put in a pipe we would have to capitalize it. Yeah. I don't know what the form of the expenditure is going to be. It could be some here, some there. I, I just don't know. Dave is, you know, I hate to say this, he was out sick and now he's out of the country and we have very limited comms with him. So we were trying to get more information on this. Uh, Did he not have his paperwork in order? He get thrown out of the country. 
No, I believe he's traveling on leisure. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you want to discuss the next one? Uh, so this is our, uh, something that the police have brought forward that they um, would believe would be a benefit um, to the pu public safety and public information outreach programs. Um, the electronic message reader boards, um, which could um, provide, um, you know, uh, certain key information that concerns anything that's going on in town, and they'll be mobile, so uh, they could be moved to different sections of the town um, to get the message out where need be. Um, so this is something that um, they feel is um, uh, would be a um, a great sort of media, uh, not blitz with the town, but a great way to get the information out when things are going right, or, or even if there's, you know, an awareness um, thing going on, so. Um, it's similar to the ones that we already have, and they just want to add more, or is it something different? Uh, so we have we one or two already, one. don't we? Um, I see one DBW has one. Okay. Um, so it would be in addition to that s similar. It could also assist in traffic enforcement. Mm -hmm. So this could be the westbound sign. <laughs> mm -hmm. Often it's like a section of town has a, a parade or a race or a event or shut down. So you want to be able to get that word out. Who, where, where do the signs at marathon time come where they're telling you the road's going to be closed? Because those are all over town. Is that a similar type of sign? It's, so it's, it's a, it's a <clears throat> multifaceted um, message board. So Westboro, for example, if you drive through their, um, the rotary, they have mm -hmm. a, a larger message board to display, you know, town meeting coming up next right. Tuesday. Um, whereas I think what you're referencing is just your speed is 30 miles an hour, slow down. There's those, but there's also the ones that say, you know, road closing at 7 a.m because of the marathon right. so that they the, have the, in place throughout town. The town owns uh, one, um, okay. but at DPW, um, other contractors may bring those in as okay. they're doing work, um, but they're not owned by the town. Okay. Any other questions? Next. Um, the fire chief has brought forward the, um, this, this next request. Um, he is uh, trying to prepare to bring on his four new um, firefighters, um, which would require full gear um, uniform layout. Um, this request here is for a small part of that turnout gear. Um, as you can see, the, the prices um, for four is um, fairly reasonable. I would think, um, but there is a, a need to get this um, so they'll have it on hand when they're ready to begin. Did you say that was the full cost of the gear or partial cost? So it's not the entire uniform. It, I, I believe I did document it. I think it's coats, um, just pants, helmets, helmets, and boots. And boots. Okay. Coats, boots, helmet, and something else. Air pants. Air pants. Pants. Yeah. pants. Okay. Thank you. Go with pants. <laughs> no suspenders, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Next. So the, the fire chief also has come forward. This is a, a fairly recent event that just occurred. Um, his exterior lighting um, system for the outside of the main fire station, which illuminates the not only the front entrance, but it also illuminates the, the presentation of the flags. And um, those things has uh, failed and they're in dire need of a replacement. So he's brought forward this request. Next. 
No questions on this one. Great. So the, the final one, the final request is um, you have, um, the town has um, upgraded the uh, public safety communication um, system, which entails uh, not only hardware, but also the connectivity uh, from, from copper to uh, what's the medium. Fiber? Digital, I think. Digital. Think digital this was a fiber. digital medium yeah. now. Um, and so with that, there were, uh, what they weren't able to elicit from the provider uh, Verizon was um, with this new equipment comes new fees on top of, on top of uh, what was, so this is unexpected uh, fees that have now been put forward by the provider um, uh, who is Verizon. So uh, we're trying to bridge a gap here. Um, with this $7,500. Look, I don't pay enough for the box on my TV now. <laughs> you have to put taxpayer money into this, yeah. too. So this is fees, so this will be ongoing. Um, does this amount cover the fees for the in, from next year? Yes. For the entire year? Yes. Questions? So I, I have a general question, I mean, this is really about my recall. Um, did we fund the, was it for the, the celebration, the, was it the Hopkins celebration? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That can be, that is funded or is not? Funded? It is funded within an existing budget line item where it's appropriate to spend from. That's correct. So there was enough surplus in the manager's budget to fund the celebration without a transfer. We would have transferred it from the manager's budget to the manager's budget and then spent it, but it's not necessary. It's within the discretion of the line item. I just wanted to make sure because I just took it out of the main budget. <laughs> and, and this would be your last, last term. When I started the discussion tonight, I'm thinking I better see that transfer. I better see that transfer, and I forgot. So thank you. For this this would be your last term as the chair if that didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm predicting that. I don't know that. Or allowed to be seen in Hopkinton. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, what do you do? I guess do we want to? I guess the next step is to discuss if we want to take it all in, uh, well, we can do one item because some of it's just out of reserve. That's one vote. Um, but the second vote, do we want to, I think we have to decide whether we wanted to take out the uh, engineering expenses, whether that's a discussion. Do you want to try calling Norman and see if there's more illumination he can provide or background on this engineering expense that we don't have? Yeah. We. Uh, you know, it probably would be more helpful to have the, all the department heads in when we do these, but we were, we thought we could try to cover it without uh, pulling the whole team in. Maybe we should do that in the future. Bringing the person in from out of the country would be a big uh, sacrifice. In, in my house, the rule is if you want the money, you have to be there to ask for it. So. <laughs> hey, Norman, it's Dave. Uh, you're on speakerphone. Right on TV. Can you Okay. Put it near a mic with all uh, the Mike town. And, and company are here with us. <laughs> can, you, um, can you put it near one of these things? Maybe we can all hear. Uh, so we, we uh, were wondering if you had any further um, expanded knowledge about the um, town engineer request for the ninety thousand dollars. Yeah. Why don't you review what we said? Can you tell them? Yes. What? Oh. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. I. I apologize, I'm in a very noisy place. Um, this is funding for engineering services. And engineering services entails survey work, completing reports. And this has come about because of the expanded responsibilities of the department. Um, I think you're all familiar with what the town has been doing at LNG uh, for the Eversource project, the work that we've been doing at Fruit Street, the work that we've been doing at Center School, 
and also the base mapping that is required. Um, that I, at the time we went to town meeting regarding the main street corridor project, we were not aware of our work with utility companies, our work with the former uh, company that did the base maps and says better engineering has required this additional work. So it's more than the Main Street corridor. It also includes Fruit Street, Center School, and other other sites. Is that correct? Yes, including also the LNG work that we're doing legally uh, with Eversource. And and Norman, the uh, ninety thousand dollars that is just to to trans. We don't have an actual estimate of what the work will cost, but this just we know will cover it. Yeah, I, I will need Tim to repeat that for me. Sorry, Tim. So the question is, uh, Norman, that um, we don't uh, we don't have a firm estimate on the work that needs to be done. This is um, trying to get enough funds on hand to anticipate costs. That is correct. Although we can say some of the work has been done. For example, the additional engineering work that needed to be done for the center school work I think is complete. Part of the work for the LNG pieces has been done. Um, so it's a combination of work that we already started and work that may be needed to complete the processes that I, the processes for the project that we've identified. Can you ask him Roughly, how much is being anticipated for Main Street corridor? So uh, the question is, Norman, uh, roughly how much is anticipated for the Main Street corridor project? Here's what the big issue is. I think uh, some of you may be familiar with this. When we engage with utility companies, it's very difficult for them to give us firm estimate. What we have run into, for example, is Eversource Verizon telling us that the town is responsible for mapping the utilities from the right of way to the houses or the businesses, uh, meaning the buildings. When we began this process, that was not our understanding. We thought that Eversource, Verizon already had plans depicting how people's services are connected. They're telling us they don't. So now we have to do those plans. So I guess uh, there was a question about capitalization, and it seems to me we would never capitalize an expense like that that is just information to facilitate something going forward like that. So I think we probably don't have a capitalization issue. That. that is correct, Tim. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Norman. Okay, thank you, Norman. Yeah, and, and again, as we've done in the past, if this money is not spent, it goes back to free cash. We just want to make sure that we have the resources at hand to finish this work. And for example, with regards to center school, getting ready for the physical aid study, with regards to the main street corridor project, making sure that we're ready for the bid process if the town is required to provide any administrative information. Uh, for example, drainage. Uh, I don't know if Tim and Dave yet covered the drainage issue. We thought it, 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 the town, as well as the consultants that have worked on this project, had the drainage plans for Main Street. No, they didn't. Yes, we, we covered that, Norman. Thank you for uh, bringing that up again, though. That's a, a key point. Yeah. Again, sorry for the noise. I'm having my kids get a haircut here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks. 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 So, so I think I have a better understanding of what it's for. I was just thinking of measuring a few of the utilities on Main Street, but it's really getting a better understanding of each house where we have to connect. We have to put underground or whatever. We have to make sure you 
dig when you call dig safe to well, know there. Well, now I'm yeah. Call dig safe. Have each owner call dig safe and sound, save the town fifty thousand dollars. Well, what is funny? You no, know, what is interesting that I once called dig safe to because I wasn't sure where stuff was, and they go, they just measure a certain amount of distance from the street. And they go, it's your responsibility going yeah, up to there. your house. I'm like, really? Then then why did I bother calling? It, so it's almost like the same response yeah. I got, you know, and I wanted to know where. Put paint across my whole lawn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good just, to have that second data point, because this is, I've always assumed they would trace them all the way for you. And this is the first time I heard about it was, uh, mm -hmm. No, they, in, they in did not. This. They would just no, do it no. like right by the street and then mm -hmm. past a certain distance from the street, it was up to me to figure it out. Do, what, <laughs> you, what utilities are you talking about, gas? Electric, too. I was talking about electric. Yeah, yeah. electric. electric up in the, isn't that the whole uh, thing so we're doing? <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's the other it's utilities, it's too. They could have gas. Yeah. Main Street, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they problem. going to map it as they put in the um, the underground? Can we make sure that gets done? Yeah, absolutely. And that's one yeah. of the things we're, we are realizing is that, you know, there could be an event somewhere. We don't have this kind of information. Uh, so we'd just be diving in, right, if there was a... But likewise, when new neighborhoods get put in, we probably should be having the developers map that out as well. And... and um, Speaking with the IT department, they're actually moving toward getting the, the what's considered the, the better GIS product mm -hmm. in the marketplace from Esri. So um, there will be the functionality there, oh, except okay. to make sure that we get the information from whoever provides us digitally. Yep. You know, as builds are notoriously poor, no matter what your control is. Um, and it, it seems like we don't even have the as builds we thought we had. Mm. So it uh, complicates the start of some of these other projects. So I'm fine including this in the all the transfer recommendations. Yeah. All right, very good. So the next part is we, we have to break this into two different motions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One is uh, that the items that come out of the reserve fund. Mr. Chair, I move that we vote to approve a transfer from the Appropriations Committee Reserve Fund to the Town Council Legal Fund in the amount of $65,000 for fiscal year 2019. A second. Okay, um, discussion? Okay, we're ready for a vote. All those in favor of moving from the reserve fund to the sixty thousand dollars from the reserve fund. Sixty-five. I'm sorry, sixty-five thousand from the reserve fund to legal expenses. Uh, say aye. 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 Opposed. Four zero. Motion carries. Next is the uh, fiscal year nineteen appropriations transfers recommendations. I can do it. You want me to do it? So do we have to do, okay. do we have to say each one or? You can say it's presented in the agenda material, right? Yeah. I, I think if you give the gross amount and you authorize the chair to sign each of the individual uh, pages that sum to that. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That'll be sufficient. All right, I move that we uh, vote to approve the appropriation transfer um, recommendations as presented in the agenda material and that we authorize the chair to sign the transfer documents. In the amount of? In the final, in the total amount of $267,239.37. Awesome. Okay, any discussion? I think we discussed it as we went through each item. So all those in favor of the uh, 2019 appropriations transfer recommendations in the amount of $267,239.37 say aye. 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 Opposed? 4-0, the motion carries. Right, excellent. Um, next on the agenda is specific appropriation discussion. And this is about um, request to consider a time extension for an existing pay-as-you-go capital item. 
Correct. So if I could just start at 30,000 feet and direct you to the last page in your packet is a listing of uh, the items that uh, are being brought forward. Uh, so written in the bylaw and article uh, or chapter 13 is a, a, any specific appropriation um, that is brought forward to town meeting is approved automatically expires two years after the approval. Um, there's also in um, section seven, the appropriation committee has the authority to extend that um, automatic sunset. Um, so these four items are items that we are requesting um, to be considered by the committee um, to be extended. Um, we believe within the conservatively the next 12 months projects will be complete um, and I can run through each each one of these items. The regulations you're referring to are those town bylaws or state? Town bylaws, town correct. Bylaws. I'm sorry, for each of these items, did you say they're, the work is already in progress? Uh, for uh, the Lake Maspinock Dam, for example, um, the, the bid process is complete and the engineer is currently evaluating um, the, the bids. So <clears throat> in, some, in some cases, some of the work has begun and others, we believe it'll begin shortly. So I can run through, I can run through each of the other items. So the first, uh, it was approved in our 2017 annual town meeting. Um, Article 19E is the replacement of the overhead doors at the fire station. Uh, the fire station um, is expected to begin a replacement of the HVAC system through an existing appropriation within the next three months. Um, we've done an RFQ with architects um, and are in the process of making a selection. Um, it's the facilities department's hope that the architect will be able to oversee successful completion of that project as part of the HVAC um, work. Uh, if not, we, we do have bid documents that are substantially complete and we're prepared to work with the facilities department to move the project forward. Um, and it's also a point of note that the doors are uh, failing, that there have been periodic um, repairs needed to be done to keep them operational. So they are beyond their, their useful life. Why is an architect involved in garage door replacement? So it, it doesn't need to be, but it, it provides additional oversight um, to make sure it's all, because it's a re replacement of the whole system. Um, so we could get a, a better price for oversight um, if it's part of an HVAC replacement. But again, if, if that's not a viable option, we're, we're prepared to, to do it with a facilities department. Um, so okay. If there are any other questions, the next item um, was approved in the, the 2015 annual town meeting, the Whitehall uh, test well installation. Uh, the project was delayed largely because of when it was submitted to uh, the Department of Environmental Protection, they came back with comments. Uh, we responded to those comments and applied again. Um, Eric Cardi is working with the engineer um, and the, if, if this appropriation is extended, the DPW anticipates the project will be complete by the end of the summer, if not shortly thereafter. And you said that if we wanted, we could vote this in a way to create an automatic sunset of the funding? Certainly, you, you can extend it for another year and then it will automatically sunset. You can only, you, you could only approve that for 12 months if you so chose. Uh, it does not need to be um, permanent by any, by any means. Gotcha. Thank you. And is the, it, sorry, can you, is the, the maximum extension is a year? That's correct. So it's either a year or not a year. Right. Right. So, so it'll you're either vote to extend it for a year or not. Maybe you could vote to extend it six months if you wanted to. Is that where you're going with? Yeah, that's where I was going. Is yeah, but but I don't think you could do more than a year. I mean, that was going to be my overall question. Do we vote for each one of these, and we are voting for the length of time we're extending it to, or what is? Uh, yes. Yes. So we're asking for the year because we think all the projects have merit, uh, they've been appropriated, they're not done, and rather than peeling this potato twice, that's a new one, <laughs> we, we, we think if you, if you get the year, we'll be covered on them all. We so on this one, it's been hanging around for four years, and this needs to be extended after two years. So I guess my question is, the last two years, 
this board, I would assume, has voted to extend it. What information were we given, or you know, everybody given, as far as where it was in the process? Are you yeah. talking about the test well that has the number, the 15 at the end of it? Yeah. Okay. So you're you have the depth of knowledge that's more than what the three of us have. On this. No, I don't. I don't actually. But I, I, I think we were saying that when right. town meeting votes it, it's good for two years. After right. that, it's got to be extended. So I'm just. So was this voted in 15 because of the 15 there, or was it voted in 17? Or but right under it, it says 2015 yeah, annual yeah, town course. meeting. 15 town meeting, yeah. It was, all I can speak to is there was a lot of cleanup that was done when the interim came in before us. Right. That there was a lot of work that was not accomplished. Mm -hmm that should have been accomplished. So okay. so we're coming in after the fact. If this wasn't extended last year, does that mean that technically our extending it really doesn't matter because it shouldn't be there? Um, you could look at it that way. I, I, I can't give you an affirmative answer. Well, yeah. What we can tell you is before we do any spending out of this, we're going to go back and confirm That's that the action has standing, because mm. uh, I, I didn't catch that. And I, I'm not intimately familiar with the underlying rules, so we have to check the rule and then check the facts. Sure. But we need to vote on it before July 10th if we're gonna potentially defer until you guys do, do we? Because these aren't transfers, these are just extensions. So what does the, does the select board have a role in this or is it just the Appropriations Committee? Just the Appropriations Committee. Okay, so you don't have to do it right now unless it's actually expiring. Well, it's expiring because it was a town meeting article, right? Do they expire at the end no, of the fiscal year? I think we're facing the end of the fiscal year. The second year after, so it's the second fiscal year, I believe the language says. Correct, yes. So these are expiring July 1st? Correct. 2017 ATM would have done the budget for 2017 ATM. That, that would be fiscal 18 was when it would start. And fiscal 18 and 19 would yeah, be the correct. band. Right. The question is really about this 15 one. Turned it's right. And the 16, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You guys have been on here the longest, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I actually vaguely do, but I, I don't know if it's just the original article or if I remember extending it. For me, I think the bigger question is, you know, assuming you guys, assuming that this, this committee voted to extend it, I'm just wondering what information was given at that time. You know, was it, yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> You know. Or was it the permitting process and that I think was that, holding things up? I, I think that I think that with that, you know, I mean, my inclination would be to say, okay, they're saying that it should be finished by the end of the summer or thereabouts. My inclination would be to say, all right, you got until the end of the calendar year. If it's not done by then, this is you know getting wiped out. And we can do this. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. Well, this one says, yeah, they expect it to be done by the end of the summer. You don't like that, though. Well, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> about what I like, what it, I, I think you, we initiate a large number of projects, and we hope they're all going to go very well. Mm -hmm. And I think all of us have experiences that say not every project always goes well. Things happen like the regulator steps in and makes you reissue the plans four times. So I don't, I, I don't necessarily equate every delayed program when it occurs because of things outside our control with a failure that should be punitively dealt with through a, through a sunset. I mean, I think there might be, if, if the idea is that at some point things should go back to town meeting and be reauthorized again, that's an interesting point. But I, I'm always worried about interruption costs and, and you know, stop and start costs. I don't want anybody I, complaining about interruption costs yeah. after four and a half years. <laughs> you know, I, All of a sudden we interrupted. <laughs> I, I worked on a nuclear facility that uh, we interrupted the construction and the restart costs were enormous. Yeah. And the time lag was enormous. Mm -hmm. so. um, 
I mean, you know, between now and December, if all of a sudden in November, yeah, yeah, they could always come back here. You know. It's you know the board is. Uh, you, I'm not trying to make things difficult. I just look at it as, you know, um, you know there's probably a, a a decent percentage of change in the voting population in the last four years too, um, and yeah, <laughs> um, and I just don't like the stuff sitting around, sitting around, and sitting around being on the books. And I don't know though if you can assume it was sitting around. It says here the DEP permitting process took longer, so now here's an issue with the regulators. And then when they came back, they said that they had to make some changes. So then you have to change your plan. Change it. Yeah. So those so may be things that it might so not be that people are just sitting around. Yeah, just no, right. we have a two-year timeline in a four-year world. Sometimes yeah. I think that's just yeah. some fraction of the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, the dam was a similar situation, right? We thought we could uh, handle it by draining the lake, and then people told us we can't drain the lake, so then we have to build a coffer dam. I mean, that was a long, complicated thing that we just came in on the end of, and, and uh, executability is not always on a two-year cycle. So, I mean, I think all of these, with the exception of the historical site signage, they haven't even started, they haven't even done anything on that. The other ones are in progress and they have an estimated date and it's a few months over and so I have no problem ex and, extending And, and those. a commitment I'll make to you is that Dave as the uh, authorized certifying officer for the town as the town accountant, uh, irrespective of the vote, will verify that expenditures are appropriate and authorized given these timelines. So this has, these have made it to this point without, without me discovering that question and we will not do any improper expenditures if you vote to authorize these things. We will add a control point after the vote so that if, the time, if they, any of them have timed out, after we closely evaluate the criteria, we will not expend any money if it's been timed out. We won't execute a bad order. And the, the other thing, if um, come next town meeting, if the projects have finished and have any residual money or the projects are just stand still and there's a decision that gets made, we can appropriate the unused balances and use it for, for funding in the annual town meeting process. So we don't have to wait until the end of the fiscal year to do any, any action. Or let it go to free cash. It's, it's or let it go to free cash. Which is, so it's not, the. This isn't an order to spend. This is an authorization to spend. Right. Should we, Mr. Chair? Should we take these one by one? I think sure. so. Yeah. Um, I'll start with number one and just move that the board vote to approve the extension. Uh, of funds for the garage door replacement for the fire department in the amount of seventy thousand one hundred forty dollars. I'll second. And that's you mean for a year? So yeah, I would assume that without specifying, it's, it's a for a year. Okay. Do we have to specify a year, or it's okay? I, I it was my first time through this, but if you're planning to do a different one a different way, I just wanted to make sure. Yep. It should be consistent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Discussion? All, right, though, all those in favor of extending the garage door replacement in the amount of $70,140, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0, the motion carries. Um, I'd like to jump ahead and move the, vo the board vote to approve funds for the Lake Maspinock Dam repairs in the amount of $224,336.12. I would second. So we actually haven't reviewed this. I do, we, they are now gonna not draw the lake down, right? They realize they can't do that, and so they're doing it. Correct, the correct. The coffer dam and pump it out, okay. and then do the repair that way. That's what I recall from the... Well, I thought the water level was gonna be higher, so it required people in wetsuits and to, uh, to, to, uh, to be submerged. Correct. So, so the, the original plan for the $140,000 was the lake could be drained to a certain level. 
um, that folks wouldn't have to go in wetsuits and do underwater repair and do a cop and do it do a dam but uh, someone came forward that uh, if that were to happen they would not have water in their home based on the location and the level of the lake um, that was then so therefore the bids came back much higher than the original appropriation um, additional funds were authorized for 110,000 the special town meeting in February 2019 mm -hmm. um, the bid process has been complete I think it's the other way around. The original was 110, and then, one and then oh, correct. we did 140. Yeah. So this extension is actually only for the 110 piece. So correct. is the new method with building the, the dam around it and draining it just that one section, or are they going to use frogmen? Or do you not know yet? I, I, think, I think they're still going to have to have folks yeah. go underwater. That's yeah. my understanding of it. They're and the reason I asked is... Fix the old dam. Right. That's, how, that's the method. You have to you have to build a and then you pump the out dam. just that section yeah. and then you tear it down and, and yeah. they bring in like steel panels and so the reason I asked is just because with all the high water levels this year if they had to bring it down I was wondering if they're actually gonna again it would be successful or not but it sounds like that's not the issue anymore we don't have to worry about right. bringing the water right. down correct yeah and, and as I said the, the bids that have come back are in budget uh, at this point it's a matter of selecting a, a vendor and the engineer is currently reviewing that yep. Okay, we're we ready for a vote. And this, are we only though approving the appropriation of one hundred ten thousand dollars? That's correct. That's all. That's all that's required um, okay. as the the additional appropriation. And is that what the motion said, or did we do the full amount? I'm sorry. When we did the original motion, did we say for, for the two hundred twenty-four thousand, or for? The I said the two twenty-four, but it looks like we only have to extend the one ten. Right. So we amend the motion to reflect the 110. In fact, if you if you didn't approve the money, the whole project would come to a standstill anyway. So they'd have to go back to town meeting and ask for another appropriation. So we're ready for a vote. Uh, this is for to extend the the hundred ten thousand dollar appropriation. Uh, for the Lake Maspinac Dam to extend it. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. Motion carries. Does someone want to make a motion on the Whitehall test wells installation? I move that we approve the extension of the Whitehall. Test. I had to finish the uh, Whitehall test wells install um, of thirty-five thousand dollars for oh. one year. For one year. Second. I'll second it. Discussion. Okay, we're ready for a vote. All those in favor of extending the Whitehall test well installation uh, for $35,000 uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? Mike, you seconded, right? I seconded, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lost that that was it 4 0 or 3 0? 4 0. Motion carries. Okay. Do I hear any motion for the historical site signage? When, when did you try reaching out to uh, the Historical Commission? How long ago? I would say probably two weeks ago. How long ago? Two, two weeks. Oh. Two weeks. They said two months. So this is just four thousand one hundred sixty-one dollars of the fifteen thousand that's left, right? Uh, so the total appropriation was fifteen thousand. They have spent um, approximately eleven thousand, and since four thousand is remaining since sixteen. It's correct. Yes. You know, um, my inclination is to take no action, and it's not to it's not to stop them in their tracks if they have something planned. But um, when I look at the CPC funds and the amount of money that's in the historical buckets over there. It seems to me like 
we should start spending some of that instead of asking the taxpayers to, you know, I, it's, it's a small amount of money, yeah. you know. I was actually going to ask that because usually this is under CPC funds and, and was this, is this general fund or was this CPC when it was originally approved? My understanding is the general fund, it was not the CPC. Hmm. I'm actually surprised by that because yeah. usually everything is, is, although I guess my memory doesn't, <laughs> I, I just don't recall it, but uh, usually for si historical signs and stuff it does come out of CPC because yeah, yeah. yeah. there's so much money, that's why yeah. I'm, I'm kind of surprised there. And I do feel if they, as Todd says, if they need it again, they'll be able to go through, C they usually go through CPC. Mm -hmm. it, it's also worth noting that the, I looked at the expenditures out of this and, and the expended funds at the beginning, uh, at the end of fiscal 18, the beginning of fiscal 19 over a period of a few months and there's been no action in this account since that time. I think I'm looking at it from a slightly different angle. I think just as stewards of the taxpayer's money, if it hasn't been spent since 16, different from the other ones, the other ones there appear to be a lot of external factors, mm -hmm. lake level, yeah. the, the state's in action. This, the money's out there, it was approved, hasn't spent, it's been three, over three years. I think it's time to come back. If you want to do it, come and come to us and again. And it's not even there's it. no time sensitivity Exactly, whatsoever. exactly. Yeah. You wait longer, it's even oh. more historic. Yeah, I was going to say, more science. <laughs> wait, you create. Uh, I, I, I think just <laughs> your own setup and spikes. So, I, I, <laughs> so, so what, how do we do this? I guess. Well, if we don't do any, we don't have, we don't have to vote no action because if we just do nothing, it just expires. I take it. Right. Yes, if you don't, if you don't take action, it will expire. I, I would just say, and I haven't talked to anybody about this. I don't know. I don't even know anyone on the historical commission. It's a volunteer citizen board, uh, and there. So, so if it was a town department, I would every every sentence you said would ring very true to me. But it, the only thing I think of is it's a volunteer citizen board, and you there may be signaling there that. You know, I, I would not necessarily hold the Volunteer Citizen Board to the standard of administrative uh, compliance response that I would with everybody else. So that, that just the... Uh, so why is this on the list? It's on the list because Ben was proactive and saw that it was a unexpended balance and because we didn't get a res we, we didn't hear back from them. And they could be on vacation or... But nobody asked for it. They didn't bring it up. They didn't ask for it. That's correct. We, re reach out, we reached out to all of the departments and commissions that had funds that would have expired. Um, there were some that are going to expire that um, the projects are complete that we're not bringing forward to you that are automatically going to revert to the general fund. There are others that um, there are going to be a few more expenses prior to um, the sunset date. Um, and then whatever remaining funds will expire as well. So these are the only ones that we, but this last one didn't have a response or the other three above it um, were requesting that to have so a I, more time. So I, I look at a couple things. I mean, first of all, again, this is, this is a 2016, which means that it would have had to have been extended last year for it to make it to this year. So, you know, that's something that we would have to research anyway. Secondly, it's only a, it's a partial balance of the overall appropriation. You know, it's four thousand, roughly four thousand out of the fifteen thousand dollar appropriation. What's typical um, in a situation like that? If you know a project is finished and they're done spending whatever money they're going to spend, is there usually notification that's given somewhere that says, "Okay, we're done. Keep the rest." <laughs> you know, or or does it just sit out here that's until it expires? But I think it's probably common that. People just say, well, that's the unspent balance and it's going to go to free cash and then, yeah. and it's that normal renewal. Yeah. Uh, totally different from the federal system and I think the state system where the money expires, if you don't obligate it by the end of the year, it goes away and it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. Here it just becomes free cash mm -hmm. and gets recycled into okay. the system. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all respect to the volunteers who are running that, that area, but I'm pretty comfortable with uh, yeah. taking no action. I like the idea of thinking ahead, though, and putting it out there. Yeah, and, and, and as our so first time through the system. no action, but yeah. I think that's great what you, what you, uh, what, what you folks would do. Yeah, and, and I do have to say, I, I do apologize that we're here at 
June 27th, I'll bring this forward to you now. Um, I can say as the procurement officer, I am actively tracking the um, pay-as-you-go special appropriation articles and we'll have more regular updates for you um, on an ongoing basis. As I, until recently, I wasn't aware of this particular bylaw, but I, I do promise to the board that you'll hear about this sooner from me. I need to apologize. Thank you. All right, so. Do we vote to take no action? I guess we no. no. All right. So that's all the items? Correct. All right. Um, anything? Well, I guess nothing else is on the agenda. Do we do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 All right. Thank you very much. This uh, closes out the uh, fiscal year. Thank you. See you next fiscal year. Thank you for all your work. Happy New Year.